excuse how I look. Impromptu video here. Um, <coughs> <coughs> I've been pretty sick, but I really, really, really need to just feel like I need an outlet. I need to film something. So today, let's see, what have I done today? Hmm. I've kind of just been hanging out around the house. I didn't feel like leaving. And on our menu plan, I had put tuna noodle casserole. Now, um, I haven't made this. I have a Campbell's cookbook. And in the cookbook, I saw the recipe and I was like, this seems easy, seems cheap, um, not super healthy. And excuse the mess behind me, my kitchen's a mess. Um, but seems okay. So um, I had every intention of getting, of making it. But um, instead of buying uh, cream of mushroom, like the recipe called for, I accidentally had the kids pick up a cream of chicken off the shelf when we went grocery shopping. So, since I didn't feel like going anywhere, I decided, let's create. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of winging it. I didn't even buy egg noodles. That's how unprepared I was. Um, like I said, I've been sick. So... Let me show you what I'm doing. To start off, I got water boiling. I'm gonna add some pasta to that, and I'm gonna make the base, I guess, like the sauce. I'm gonna make kind of like a roux, like I would make for our homemade mac and cheese. So what I have in here is half of an onion, I just chopped it up, and four tablespoons of um, salted butter. And I'm gonna add some milk to the, um, add some flour to that and make a roux like I do for macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to add about four tablespoons of flour. Okay. So like I said, four tablespoons of flour. Oh, try not to get it all over the stove because I am kind of a messy cook. It's two, three, and four. And this is kind of exactly the real that I make for macaroni and cheese, except I added onions into this for flavor. If I had mushrooms, I'd probably add mushrooms. I'm probably gonna add some garlic too. Um, so this is like this thick paste. And I'm gonna let it cook a little bit while I get some milk. Usually for my roux for my macaroni and cheese, I do about a cup to a cup and a half of milk, and we just use fat-free milk. So I'm just going to pour a little bit at a time and then just mix it in um, so that I can get like a creamy base and then I will add some other stuff to this. But um, that's all I'm going to do. And like I said, I'm experimenting. You guys are watching me do this as I do it. If it doesn't come out good, I might not even upload this video, so I might just be talking to myself. Um, I figured this may be a healthier way to do this, so, um, healthier than the cream of mushroom, I'm sure. So, I wanted to kind of talk to someone while I experiment, and I do this a lot, the experimenting in the kitchen. Now, since I know how to make a roux from my cream, from my cheese sauce, um, I'm kind I kind of know what I'm doing, except that I added the onion, because... This is not going to be a cheese sauce, so I don't want it, I want it to have some depth and flavor. I don't want it to just be like this salted milk and flour mixture with tuna in it. Um, so that's why. And as you can see, it's very creamy. So I'm going to keep doing So this. I've added all the milk to this, and you can see it's a creamy... It's a little more liquidy than I thought it would be, but um, that's okay. I think it's pretty good. So I'm gonna salt and pepper this. I did add some pasta. I just I'm just cooking up some ziti pasta, so or penne. I'm not even sure what that is. I don't know. Some pasta. I just have them in those containers. Um, but I am just gonna let this cook a little. I'm gonna salt and pepper it. I'm gonna add. I think some garlic to it and then um, I'll throw my tuna in here and maybe some peas if I have some if not I'll just do vegetables on the side tonight 
So um, this is it so far. And I have about a little bit over 20 minutes before I have to get the kids off the bus. And then we have to run out because one of my friends needs me to pick her up. So I'm just, I wanna get this whole casserole put together and then I will just cook it, finish it off when we get home from football tonight. So I'm um, just kind of showing you guys me putting it together. And pasta wise, the reason, well, I don't have any egg noodles, but I went with ZD because I, I don't know what, I, I went with this pasta because we like this pasta. I have a lot of it. And also my husband can eat that with meatballs because he does not eat seafood. All right, so this is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and um, salt and pepper and add some garlic. I should mention I have this turned on low now. And then I just have this um, minced California garlic from Costco. And I'm just gonna put a tablespoon in there and grab some, have some sea salt. I'll just do a hefty pinch of that. And then I just want to add, I'm going to add some black pepper and I have it on low and I'm going to let this continue to cook. I definitely want to add in the tuna here and I think it's good. I'm going to actually give it a taste and see what the sauce tastes like. And yeah, I added the garlic. I tasted it with salt and pepper. It's a pretty good basic bechamel sauce. So what I'm going to do now is I have two cans of this bumblebee chunk light tuna and water. I'm going to add these in and I found some broccoli from Trader Joe's in the freezer. So I'm going to add the broccoli in and just let that heat up, drain the pasta and I'll put it all into a casserole dish and I'll let you guys see that when I get to that point. Because as you can see, I have you guys plugged in right now. Okay, so I took this small casserole since this is just for me and the kids. And this is more than enough. This is going to leave leftovers. I have a little bit of pasta left over for my husband. And I'm going to, I think I'll just refrigerate this. I think that's going to keep the best so I can heat it up for him. It was dinner time. I mixed it, uh, not perfectly, but best I could. And as you can see, I found a little bit of peas. So I threw some peas in there with the broccoli. Um, I'm going to top this off with some cheese and breadcrumbs. And then I will cover it with foil. And I think... I will also refrigerate this until we come back from football and then I can just pop it in the oven or I might just leave it in the oven or that might be fine too. Um, but I'm just going to do this. I've got five minutes before I have to go grab the kids off the bus and run out to go help my friend out. So I'll top it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And then when it's dinner time, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Let you know what the kids think of it. Um, if you're watching this and you're going to kind of follow this recipe, Please salt and pepper to taste. I like my stuff very seasoned, so um, I might put a little bit more salt and pepper than anybody else. But um, I think the basic bechamel roux, the basic roux turned into a bechamel with the onions and garlic and some salt and pepper is always a good start for any cream based type sauce. And then just adding whatever layers you want. You could add cheese to it. You can add vegetables, not add vegetables. You can do this with chicken instead of tuna and add cheese to that. There's so many possibilities. So if you know how to make a roux and a basic bechamel, it's the best. And I can do just like a dedicated video on that if you'd like. But um, let me get to this because I, I, I'm down to four minutes. I get a layer of this mild cheddar cheese, a little bit of these, this panko from Costco, and a little bit more cheese on top. I'm gonna cover with this, this with foil and I've decided to just leave it in the oven until dinner time and then I can just bake it very quickly so we'll see you guys when it's dinner time okay guys this doesn't look that appetizing I'm cleaning up now um, it's 10 30 p.m. we got home pretty late from football so we just ate quickly and I forgot to film but here's what it looked like baked and the kids loved it so it's a thumbs up and it's definitely um, <laughs> 